What's up, family? Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Smart the Messenger. This one's gonna be about how to identify the witchcraft that is being exposed through your dreams, okay? You know, one thing I've, I've told you guys many times on my channel, for all those who are new viewers, this is how it works, okay? The enemy attacks you in the spiritual realm first, and then it manifests then in the, in the physical realm, okay? And it's important to, once you get the, what the, the things I'm about to reveal, uh, once the witchcraft is attacking you uh, in, in your dreams, it's very important, once you wake up, to pray and fight it off. Fast, you know, maybe do some fasting, some prayer, okay? Any doors that you open, you know, because the only way witchcraft can attack you is through the doors you open. And also, you know, if you're, if you're a mother or a father, you know, a parent, uh, I mean, a wife or a husband, you could be opening up the witchcraft doors in your life. And not only it attacks you, it could attack your children. Okay, it could attack you know um, you, your wife, your husband. So always keep that in mind. Witchcraft is not something to play with. You know, I made multiple videos exposing things that are you know normal in this world. That's that's witchcraft. You know, your tarot cards, your horoscopes. Uh, you know, you're burning up sage. You know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I have multiple videos on that. Uh, but you know. What people don't understand how dangerous it is, and like I said, guys, God will warn you in your dreams, okay? And he allows that to, to happen, you know, because like I said, guys, you're opening these doors, okay? And like I said, you might be saying, well, Mark, you know, I'm not doing the things that, that you listed in your videos. You know, why is this happening to me? It could also be, you know, a generational curse. It could be a family member, okay? This is this is deep, man. This is real deep. But anyways, let's go. Let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Okay, none of this is in order too, by the way, okay? But... The number one sign, actually, this is number one, because <laughs> this happens to a lot of you guys. I'm pretty sure 90% of the people watching this video, this has happened to, okay? When you're having sexual dreams, okay, when you're having sexual dreams, you're having uh, intercourse with a male, or let's say if you're, you know, you're a lady, right? You're having intercourse with a male, or if you're a man, you're having intercourse with, uh, you know, a female, okay? Or it could be, you know, you feel like something's touching your, you know, your private parts, okay? That is an evil spirit. That is a, a form of witchcraft. And see, one thing that happened when this was happening to my life, I was opening up those doors. Okay, I was watching corn. You know, I, you know, I was you know fornicating. You know, things of that nature. So, it, it, you know, those those demonic spirits. You know, the spirit of witchcraft that came into my life because I was opening those doors. So, accountability is very key. And see, whenever you try to break free, uh, sorry, break free from you know your sexual morality, your sexual sins, that's when these these uh, demonic spirits attack you. That's when the strongholds that you open, okay, Satan's not gonna let you leave in peace. He, he you know, and, and see when when you're entering into Satan's kingdom, when you're living in willful sin and you just forget about God, you're you're in rebellion. The Bible says that rebellion is a sin of witchcraft in one Samuel chapter fifteen verse twenty three. Okay, so when you're living that type of lifestyle, you know, and you're living in sin, you know. The devil rewards you. You know, he'll give you that pretty female. He'll give you that pretty man. He'll give you the things to keep you in his kingdom, to keep you in darkness. Okay. So if he's giving you those things and you decide to repent, you know, you decide to, you know, you know, be set apart, you know, be holy, you know, live a lifestyle that seeks repentance and, you know, live a lifestyle that's, you know, a pure lifestyle, you know, pretty much being set apart. Okay. He's not going to let you do that in peace. So he's going to, he's going to attack you with those dreams. Okay. So best believe the sexual dreams is called an incubus. Okay. That's for, you know, you woman who had, when you're having intercourse in your dreams, that is not a God that does not, you know, and there was times where, you know, before I was on my walk with Christ, when, when I was first getting attacked, when I first got delivered, you know, five years ago from watching corn and pretty much, you know, the sexual lust, you know, your sexual morality, I was getting attacked heavy. You know, I, I didn't know I, when I was having those dreams, I thought, OK, maybe this is good. It feels good. You know, that was just a carnal mind of me at the time that thought it was that. But no, you know, one thing that I noticed about these, you know, these sexual dreams, right, when I would have them, it would kind of like plant seeds in my mind to go hit up somebody, you know, to hit up a female or, you know, maybe if I don't have access to that at the moment, you know, let me go, let me go on the websites. It, it was like a seed that plant. This is how I know it's the devil. And this is why I told you guys, you know, in the beginning of this video, when you are experiencing these dreams, and I'm about to list, not just the sexual dreams, what I'm about to list throughout this video, it's important to wake up and pray it off, okay? And acknowledge, you know, what am I doing to allow this to attack me? Okay, now sometimes, like I said, guys, sometimes it's not you. Maybe it could be a generational curse. Sometimes it could be your, your your wife, your husband, you know, God forbid, you know, your children opening up those doors into your household. Okay, this is why it's very important, you know, to do some spiritual cleaning around your house, throwing away the idols, the graven images that a lot of people just seem to just can't give up. Uh, you know, throw away the sage, throw away the horoscopes, you know, throw away the Harry Potter movies. You know, these are things that you got to be doing, man. Get, get it out of your house immediately. You know, the minute you become, you know, set apart, the minute 
minute you give your life to Christ, you know, that's when the war really begins, okay? So always keep that in mind, man. Sexual dreams are linked to evil spirits. It's another form of witchcraft to get you to go back to your old ways, okay? You know, the doors you open for the succubus, the incubus, you at the strip club. You don't understand, man. I don't like people touching me, bro. You at the strip club and you have those females touching you, dancing on you, bro. You never know. Spirits could be attached to that. You know, this is deep, bro. This is this is spiritual warfare, okay? So, you know, now I know it's not just a strip club. It could be other things as too as well. But, you know, I'm telling you guys, certain environments, you know, certain, you know, spirits, you don't want them touching you. You don't you don't want them influencing your mind. Even the music you listen to, that could be a form of witchcraft too, okay? The devil is very clever. He knows what he's doing with this generation, with the world, you know, itself, okay? So number two is a lot of you guys can relate to this too, man. All this, throughout this whole video, I know there's going to be at least 90% of people watching this I can relate to this. So you're going to have snakes trapping you, okay, or, or attacking you, okay, or when you wake up sweaty, okay. You now, I know there's, there could be times when the room is hot. It's not always witchcraft when you wake up sweaty. You know, use your discernment, use your wisdom, okay. But let's say you wake up, right, and, you know, the room is pretty cold or it's like a normal temperature and you're just full of sweat, Okay, this one thing that I noticed that, the, that God has revealed to me during that time when I was going through this, okay, this was the fear was tormenting me and I was waking up sweaty, I was waking up afraid and I was like, why is this happening? I was so sweaty, I had to go take a shower because that's how, you know, I just felt unclean. You know, the uncleanness, the unclean spirit, you see how that creeps up upon you? But like I said, guys, the doors I was opening for that to come into my life, okay? And also the snakes trying to trap you. Whenever you have a dream of a snake, okay, a snake, you know, one thing, you know, the Bible says that, you know, the devil, the serpent. Now, I'm not going to say all snakes are evil, but whenever you, I, I had one dream, let me share my testimony real quick. This might be a long video, so but this would be powerful, very edifying, I'm telling you, throughout this whole entire video. Okay, so I had a dream. I was in a relationship with someone who I shouldn't be in a relationship with. And, you know, God was warning me. God always warns you, you know, whether you're in a relationship, friendship, family member, he'll warn the people, he'll, he'll tell you, bro, you know, and he will warn you over and over again. I had a dream, right? And, there was like an angel, okay? There was like an angel and I was, I was floating in the sky and it was like holding me up. Like I was flying in the sky and I looked down and I see just a landmine of snakes. I'm talking about, I was, I was flying in the sky and I see thousands of snakes and I instantly remember the word of God where it says it's a fearful thing to fall from the hands of the living God. Something was upholding me. I was flying in the sky and I saw a landmine full of snakes, you know, and through my disobedience. If I, if I continued being disobedient through the warnings, you know, through, well, God's, you know, he's exposing me, you know, expo exposing the dreams. He's exposing you know, the people around me and I'm not taking heed. I'm not listening to the signs. I'm not paying attention to the warnings. Okay. He would have, he would have let, let me drop down and the snakes just completely, you know, destroy me. Okay. So one thing about God though, he's very merciful. We all know this, very merciful, very full of grace, you know, patient with us. But when you're seeing these signs, guys, you know, and we gain these dreams of, yeah, but a whole bunch of snakes, snakes trying to attack you or snakes trying to trap you in. You're waking up all sweaty. Okay. Pay attention to the people around you. Whenever you have those dreams about those snakes, pay, remember, because Judas, okay, Judas rolled with Jesus. There's many times about the Bible, guys, where there was a snake. You know, there was a righteous one and there was a demonic one. Abel, righteous, Cain of the devil. Okay. There's always going to be a snake in a group, okay, uh, the disciples, 12 disciples, one snake. What makes you think if you're in a friend group with 10 people, there's, there's gonna be one devil, there's gonna be one snake. That's how it works, man. There's always gonna be one tear. There's always gonna be one bad seed full of the good seeds, okay? This is how it works. Even the Bible says, Matthew chapter 13, verse 38 to 43, okay, that the tares, they look identical to the wheats, okay? So always keep that in mind, man. The snake's trapping you, waking up sweaty, use your discernment. Now, if you're, if you're in a room with 100 degrees temperature, and you, of course you're going to wake up sweaty, okay? But I'm talking about normal temperature or just maybe it could be a cold room and you're waking up sweaty. That's a sign. All right, number three. You, and that's what I was talking about throughout this entire video, which I have to I have to express because it seems like in this, in this age we're living in, people don't take accountability to their actions, okay? Every action has a consequence. Yes, you could repent. Yes, you could be saved. Yes, you could receive salvation. But there's always consequences to your actions that you do. Everything in life, okay? Whether it's good, not always evil. It could be good too. If you're out here feeding the homeless, you know, helping the people in need, you know, showing support to your brother, showing support to your sister, okay, those good things are going to come back to you that, you know, reap what is sown. All right, so you open up the door to witchcraft, okay, through rebellion, through willful sin, through disobedience, okay? Like I said, 1 Samuel, like the Bible says, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23, for rebellion is a sin of witchcraft, okay? So always understand that if you're operating in a rebellion to Yah, 
Okay, you're in a rebellion to God, you know, willful, living in willful sin, and then you're using Bible verses to justify your sins. God, that's wicked. You know, because what, what I, there's many times throughout the Bible, Luke chapter 18, verse 1 to 10, there was a guy who was, you know, living in sin, living in disobedience. And he said, God, you know, he couldn't even look up to the sky. He, he put his head down and he prayed, you know, God, you know, he, he, you know, confessed his sins and God had mercy on him. And the Pharisee who thought he was so perfect, he was, you know, saying, you know, thank you, God. I'm not like him, an adulterer, et cetera, et cetera. But God had grace on the humble. OK, so. Being humble is, you know, admitting your wrongs, taking accountability and admitting that, OK, you know, I'm not perfect, you know, but I'm, I'm, I want to live right. And I just keep falling short. God, have mercy upon me. Pour your spirit upon me, you know, the fire so I could, you know, I could be better. I could be a better human to society. I could be a better follower of Christ, you know, things of that need. OK, so being humble. So understand that you opened up the door. You know, you're watching YouTube videos of tarot card readings. You're watching YouTube videos of witches and warlocks and wizards. OK, what do you think? You remember all this is just a portal. The camera that I'm recording this video is a, por is a portal. Your television is a portal. Your your phone, okay. Your you know um, your laptop, your computer. All that is important. What you what you're watching could affect you. Now it's not always bad. Okay, you could you could be watching things that could wake you up spiritually. You know, just like this video. You could be watching things that are gonna you know open those doors for demons. You listen, like I said, guys, those tarot card readings that people just can't seem to give up. Okay, and the reason why they have a hard time giving it up, guys, demonic strongholds. You know, this is why it's so important to have a man of God in your life so he could teach you, he could, he could direct your right path. Just like how, you know, Adam was supposed to be doing, but, you know, we all know they all fail. Okay, so number four is, ooh, yes, man. When someone's attempting to kill you, let me, let me explain this, okay? And this goes on with number two, when those snakes try to trap you. When someone is trying to delete you, okay, you have a dream. There was, there was one time I was, this happened when I was in a friendship with someone and a relationship. This happened multiple times, you know? And the reason why I had those dreams of someone trying to kill me is because they were trying to destroy me spiritually, get, lead me into sin, okay? Lead me into the wrong path. And God warned me. I had a dream with that individual who was a spiritual assassin, who was an agent sent by the devil to destroy me. And I had the dream, I had a dream. And I was sleeping next to that person too. A couple of days later where I, I was, we're in a car, well, with one of my cousins who's God already showed me he ain't, he ain't right. You know, it's my cousin. I love him from a distance, but it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm going to take heed to the warnings. I'm going to take heed to the signs. Okay. And I had the girl I was talking to with at the time in the back seat. And I, we were going to do some illegal activities, right? And this is all a dream, remember? And, you know, I remember I went to go buy something. And the guy I was buying it from, you know, this guy looked like, I mean, a straight evil spirit man it was it looked he looked evil and he pointed he pointed the gun at me and he, and he, like he kept he kept pulling that trigger and nothing came out and i instantly remember man the word of god is our shield the word of god is our weapon in the spiritual warfare i instantly remembered Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. He kept pulling that trigger 10 times and no bullets came out. He was kind of confused too. He was like, what the heck? Why is there no bullets coming out? I remember I pushed the door in the dream. I pushed the door and I ran, bro. I ran. And that person that was sleeping next to you, that's the enemy. A lot of you guys are in relationships. You sleeping next to the enemy. Okay, a person who's not living for God, a person who doesn't have the Holy Spirit, they could be used by the enemy. You know, you never notice, right? And this is how you could tell, man. This is how you could tell. You're reading your Bible. You're praying more. You know, you're just trying to do the right thing because you know that the creator of all things created you in his, in his perfect image, you know, to, you know, to worship him. You know, that's why, that's why God created Adam and Eve so we could worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Okay, obviously not to say, you know, to be fruitful, multiply, have children, you know, take care of the gardens, take care of the animals and, you know, take care of our children, of course, you know, and most importantly to worship God. But it seems like humans today have completely departed from that path. You know, and this is why there's so much chaos in this world today, you know, because we're not we're not doing the will of God. We're not doing God's will in our life. So now all this destruction is happening. So when you're in a, a certain friendship or relationship with someone and they see you doing righteous deeds, they see you just, you know, trying to walk that narrow path and they just have a problem with that. You know, the spirit in them, the demon in them gets, you know, gets mad and furious about that. You got to get rid of that person. Okay, now I know there's sometimes guys where some of you all are in marriages with these individuals. Now, you know, the only thing you could do, you know, I'm not going to tell nobody to go get a divorce. If you're, you know, you marry that person, hey, it is what it is. You know, I, what I would do, I would just try to win them over through your conversation, just like the Bible says to do. You know, pray for that person. You know, and I, you know, if you guys ever need any prayers, you know, let me know in the comment section. You know, y'all know where to hit me up. 
you know, uh, because that's what we need to be doing because you don't understand that there might be no one else praying for that person. It might be only you. Remember, the you chosen ones, you are the light of this world, okay? So people, without us, this world is finished. There's no light, okay? It's all gonna be full of darkness, but because the chosen ones are still here, we are the light. We are, you know, the messengers, the prophets, you know, the teachers, the apostles, okay? Uh, you know, the, the sheep of God, all right? So number five, you know, is feel like being watched. Ooh, yes, you, you ever feel, in your dreams, has you ever feel like, in, in your dreams, okay? You ever feel like you're being watched and trapped? Okay, it's called a modern spirit. A modern spirit is an evil spirit. It's, it's, it's linked to witchcraft. Okay, the Bible even says in Psalm 37, verse 32, that the wicked watch the righteous and seek to slay him. When you're dreaming, that is a spiritual realm. There's demons, evil spirits, witches, warlocks that are waiting for you to open up a door. They're waiting for a way into your life. They're watching you and they seek to slay. They seek to lead you to spiritual damnation, spiritual death. Okay, before Samson fell, I'm pretty sure in the spiritual realm, they were, they, they, remember guys, it happens in the spiritual realm first before it manifests in the physical realm. I'm pretty sure God was giving Samson the signs about Delilah. I'm pretty sure, bro, 100%. I'm pretty sure God was giving signs to Ahab before he got with Jezebel, 100%. Okay, 100%. So always keep that always keep that in mind, man. When you feel like you're being watched and monitored and, and trapped, that's a form of witchcraft. We have to identify this quick and fast. Don't wait until it's too late. Okay, whatever doors you open, close. Man, I, I'm, I, man, the spirit is moving. Guys, I, cause I'm, I'm, really, I'm really trying to save someone's life throughout this video because I've been through all this stuff, guys. This is my testimony. I've been through it. You know, and sometimes, guys, I didn't take heed to the signs. I didn't take heed to the warnings. And I suffered. And I don't want you to suffer, man. I want you to be prosperous. I want you to be, you know, successful, you know, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, physically. I want you all to win, man. I don't want these evil spirits, these witches and warlocks, these, these demonic spirits, witchcraft, a divination, sorcery. I don't want that to affect your life, man. And if it is affecting your life, we got to repent, fast, and pray. Put on the armor of God so we could fight against the spiritual wickedness in high places. All right, number six is you have a death wish. Ooh, you have a death wish, okay? Enter, you entertain the idea, okay? Remember, Jezebel's witchcraft made Elijah run and wish he was dead, okay? Jezebel's witchcraft was many, Okay, so the Bible says she had many, she was full of witchcraft, and she was trying to, she was trying to get the, the prophets of God to be deleted, Okay, and, and, and her witchcraft was so many, Elijah, the prophet of Yah, okay, the prophet of God, he even, he wanted to, to be like, I, I'm done, you know, I, he, he ran away. Can you imagine that? Okay, there's many, because Jezebel, she was a witch. There's many witches today that are plotting on you, man of God. Now, I know the Jezebel spirit is a spirit, and it works to man and woman. Okay, so, you know, always got to keep that in mind. But, you know, that Jezebel spirit is working through these individuals so they try to get you deleted. Because remember, Jezebel, she tried to delete the prophets of God. So if you're a prophet, if you're a messenger, okay, if your vessel is being used by God to, or to be righteous and walk that righteous path, you got to expect the Jezebel to lead you astray. Okay, don't be effeminate. Be a man. Uh, and if a woman, if a Jezebel spirit try to, try to control you, manipulate your mind, play all those witchcrafts, you get away of her quick. Who cares how pretty she is? Who cares how fine or how big her butt? Man, none of that matters. Your soul's on the line. Okay, remember, a spiritual mind is life and peace, and a carnal mind is death. Man, I wish I had my sound soundboard so I could put that sword on it, so I could put that sword effect. So yes, guys, when you have a death wish, when you feel like, you know, ending it, that could be a form of witchcraft. That could be a form. Now, there's some, now, it's not always a form of witchcraft. Some people are just selfish, you know, and they just want to, you know, or some people are just looking for attention, you know. So, you know, remember, use your discernment, use your wisdom to what I'm saying. But sometimes, guys, when you're just living, and well, you don't want to do that, but like it just kind of affects you. And I've been through the situation where I wanted to delete, I wanted to delete it. You know, the doors where I was opening, the witchcraft was attacking me so much. I wanted to end it all, you know, but by, by, by the grace of God, you know, it was actually crazy through a testimony that I wanted to end it. And it actually led me to reading my Bible. It actually led me to God. And then a couple months later, I got baptized. You see how God works? It's all part of God's plan. You know, what the enemy meant to harm you, God meant for good. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. All right, number seven is when you are being attacked by witchcraft, you're going to experience confusion. 
you're gonna experience nightmares, okay? And you're gonna experience poor decisions, okay? So when you're being attacked by witchcraft, the confusion, nightmares, and poor decisions, you're gonna make poor decisions mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and also even financial decisions. It's gonna be very poor. Also confusion, we all know, but the Bible says confusion is not of the most high. Okay, so that's another form of enemy attacking you through witchcraft is confusion. Okay, you're confused on, should I, should I live for God? Should I walk this narrow path? You know, that's all of the enemy. That could be, that could be, you remember how demons attack too? They attack your mind. They influence, you know, they work through your emotions, your mind. Okay, manipulation. That's how they work. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Whenever you're going through these type of stuff, the, the nightmares, where, you know, we all, we, all, we all have experienced nightmares, right? I'm pretty sure that I think I say about 100 people. Well, I guess depending on what age you are. But when those nightmares creep in, it's in wait. And once you wake up, God, I'm telling you, man, pray it off. Prayer is our weapon. That's our spiritual weapon to fight against these spiritual wickedness in high places, all right? Number eight is not being able to sleep. Oh, yep. Fearful, okay? Seeing things and hearing voices. I, I've been through this all, guys. Not being able to sleep. You know, and as I'm not being able to sleep, my mind is racing. My mind is, 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 is going through these negative emotions. That's a form of attack, man. That's a form of witchcraft. Also being fearful, okay, being fearful of, of the evil. You know, my mind's so focused on the evil and, and the bad, I can't even see the good. I can't even see what God's plans are for me. You know, that's the form, that's a form of which I attack, attacking your mind, all right? And that's what the Bible says to have the helmet of salvation, which is, you know, part of your armor of God, so we can fight against these things, man. And the next thing is seeing things. You're seeing into the spiritual realm and see, guys, you're not crazy. You're not schizophrenic. You're not any of those things. You can see into the spiritual realm. And one thing demons do, they like to, they like to get you fearful because that's another, that's another way they could control you. Even like this world, the elites, they use fear to control the sheep, to control the, the goats. Okay, that's what they, you know, that's what they use. They use fear and confusion. Notice how the so-called powers that be, they use that to get people afraid, to get people to follow their orders. Fear and confusion, that's a form of the enemy, or that's, that's a, what the enemy uses to attack, you know, to attack people, okay? And hearing voices, okay? Remember, God speaks to us all the time, but when you're opening up these doors for these spirits to come in, you're going to be hearing the wrong voice, you're going to be hearing the wrong voice. Also, oh, important guys, when this is happening, to fight and pray, fight and, and pray it off, man. Have the armor of God on it. Confess your faults. Confess your sins, even the sins that you don't even know what you're doing. Okay, repentance is an everyday thing. It's an everyday battle, man. To stay on the straight and narrow. Now I understand why Jesus says only few will enter in because it's tough. It's a fight. Okay, it's, it's, it's a fight, you know. Fight the good fight of faith. So, man, I hope you guys got blessed by this message. If you guys made this far, man. You know, support your support your brother in Christ, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video, man. A lot of people are experiencing witchcraft and they have no idea. All right, and um, leave a comment too. If there's anything you guys experience, you know, through the witchcraft, feel free to comment, let me know. If you guys need prayers, go ahead and leave me in the comments. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace. God bless you all.